everybody, welcome back to my channel in Tina's Kitchen, where today I'm inviting you over for something so simple, yet you have to know how to make this. It's just in our blood to know how to make khacha puri, which is also known as a cheese puff pastry. Now it is so simple and so easy to make and oftentimes you already have the ingredients in your fridge. It comprises of many different cheeses. So it's really fun that it's an Armenian cheese puff. However, it's so culturally diverse. And what I mean by that is every cheese is from a different country. So this is super interesting. So I want to get into the ingredients with you guys and show you. So we have feta cheese, Greek feta cheese. We have, um, I'm going to also be using Bulgarian cheese for that salt. So instead of salt, I'll just use this. We also have a Russian um, cottage cheese. Now this is a treat. It's like more on the thicker side. Um, it's called farmer's cheese. And uh, in Armenian, it's also known as tavarok. My mom used to use this. So I'm just gonna give it a try. I think it makes everything come together, you know, molds a little bit better because it's a thicker consistency. We also have Italian mozzarella cheese. I'm throwing in a little Persian <laughs> yogurt in there. And also I wanted to make two types of fillings here. So I'll use all of these cheeses, uh, you know, as simple without any other spices. And then I want to make another batch with some amazing spices here. So we can use some Aleppo pepper, some black pepper and some mint. And you know, I can already imagine what an amazing variation that's gonna be. And then also for your dough, what you're gonna need is just regular puff pastry, uh, five by five um, little cutouts, five inches by five inches. And you're gonna need an egg to toss in there for your mixture as well. And you'll need another egg for the egg wash because we want our puff pastry to have that beautiful flaky golden color when it comes out of the oven. So join me as I make Armenian puff pastry. Um, I am gonna throw it out there. I've never made it. I've watched my mom make it a million times. I've enjoyed it. It's a guilty pleasure. Another one, another guilty pleasure. Um, yeah, look at all these cheeses. You're gonna need to step up on that Peloton after. I know I sure am, after I have one. So join me and let's have some fun with a Armenian khacha puri. Okay, so before we do anything, I do wanna get my dough aligned. So on your uh, cooking sheet or your cooking pan, you wanna align it with parchment paper so it doesn't stick. And we're just gonna place them. They are in their frozen state, so this will also help in, you know, thawing them out and, you know, keeping them workable. Um, the shape that I wanna achieve with my puff pastry will be two different kinds. I wanna make square ones, which will be my plain ones. And then I also wanna make triangle ones. That'll be the one filled with our, you know, Aleppo pepper and our mint. Um, so we can know the, you know, the difference. Now, these are a little bigger in comparison to my sheet pan, but that's fine. We're gonna make it work. Um, I think I have a third one I'll pop out and we'll use that too. I do wanna get just quite a few made. My kids are anxiously waiting for them. All right, so I'm gonna set these aside and get started on our cheese filling mixture and show you guys all of these goodies that we're gonna be using today. So I'm gonna start off with our mozzarella. My measurements are just literally eyeballing everything. I'm gonna just use the entire package of the mozzarella. I'll probably use half of the farmer's cheese, cottage cheese. I'll use the feta crumble in its entirety and I'll just throw in a little bit of the Bulgarian because it is on the saltier side and one spoon of the yogurt just to give it some flavor. So we'll start off with our mozzarella. Okay. Just dump the whole thing in there. And then if you have extra cheese, of course you can freeze this and use it for another batch. And then I'm just gonna throw in all of my feta. And then we're gonna crumble this even more because we do want it a little bit finer than it is, the cheese. And the um, cottage cheese, we'll do half. And 
And then our Bulgarian. Just throw a little crumble in there. I can smell the salt. <laughs> Okay, perfect. And then a little bit of that yogurt. Just one tablespoon. And then we also need to crack that egg in there. So one whole egg. Wipe my hands and we'll just give it a good stir. So this would have been our um, plain combination. I do want to separate this into two halves so I can create that um, secondary mixture with the spices. So I'll just get this mixed. I've gone ahead and separated my cheese mixtures and I wanted to dedicate the smaller one to the uh, the spices so uh, this is my Aleppo pepper which I'm gonna just drop in a little bit already the color is so pretty you guys that I would have just used this as a decorative element and then just a little bit of that ground pepper and then just a teeny bit of mint. Now this mint is already so flavorful, I don't wanna add in too much, it might overpower. So we'll just go ahead and shred some in. Okay, and then we'll just give this a good mix and have it ready for our filling. I'm gonna add in some more. Let's be bold, let's live. Let's make it nice and spicy, nice and flavorful. I'm probably gonna be the one who's gonna eat this one. So let's just go all out, go, go big or go home, right? Okay. Okay, so this is ready. Now we are going to really quickly crack our egg. I wanna separate a little bit of the white so I can use it for my uh, dough in order to give it that gluey texture so it will stick and not open. So all we're gonna do is just separate our egg. We need one egg yolk. That's gonna be used as the glue. And then we'll just save our, um, sorry, the egg yolk will be used as the egg wash at the end. And the egg white will be the glue. Okay. And you don't need to, you know, stir this too much. It's fine the way it is. It's an egg yolk. It'll do. Okay. So I'll just begin with, um, let's do the spicy one first. I want to make those into triangle shapes. And then my normal cheese ones, I want to make those into square shapes. So for our first one, and just place them in the middle. I am gonna try to get, you know, an even proportion on each one so they all match, but if you don't, it's fine. It smells amazing. We have a good combination here. Now, with just your fingertips, it's fine. Go in and wash all sides. These are the triangles. We want them to stick. Oh, should we smash it a little? Yeah. Smash it a little bit. Wipe our hands. You want to keep your fingers clean. 
and we just fold it forward into a triangle shape and just pinch all the sides down. And we can also go in with a fork and just give it a little decoration on the edges, which we will. We do want this to look cute. Okay, so I'm gonna put these aside so we can now start on our normal cheese filling. And for this one, uh, we're gonna do those square pieces. Um, I've never attempted a square piece. I'm gonna be using a ice cream scoop this time just to see if we get a better, you know, shape. And we'll have an even filling on each one. And I am doing generous portions because who doesn't love their hot chapuri with a lot of cheese? I mean, it's a waste not to have every bite with cheese, I feel like, but you can obviously put less. All right. We should flatten them out a teeny bit because these are going to be square. We don't want them to be popping out. Just flatten it out a little. Wipe our hands. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I believe you just bring all of the corners together and pinch them and we get this really cute little shape. Um, I forgot the egg wash, that's why it's not sticking. So that's right, let's put that egg on the edges. Okay. Round two, <laughs> let's stick all our edges together. Yeah, that's better, it's sticking more. And then just go down and stick all the sides together. Again, if you have trouble sticking, add in more egg white for that glue. And there you have it, it's super cute. And then we'll flatten these out before we cook them.
All right, our hacha puri is ready to go into the oven. I've already started my preheat at 350 degrees. We'll put these in at 375 for like 30 minutes and I'll meet you back. Okay, you guys, it smells so amazing in here. I just have to pop these out, take a little peek. They're not ready yet, my kiddos are waiting. I'm telling you, it smells so good. I just wanna take a quick peek. You know what, I think they are ready. I'm just gonna pop them out. I don't want them to burn, I'm nervous. So let's just pop them out. Oh, they are so cute. Here's one. And our triangle. All right. I cannot wait to give these a try. So let me have them cool down a little bit. I'll remove them from these hot sheets and we'll give them a try together. Okay, you guys, I cannot wait to cut into this and try them for you and give you my very honest opinion. So I'm just gonna grab one of the uh, spicy ones and cut into that one first. And let's just see what it looks like. They're hot, they're still hot. Oh yeah, that looks so good. Okay, so that's one. And these square ones have already, you know, spread out a little bit and peeking through with that cheese that cannot wait to be devoured. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the cheese one first, the original. Mm. Oh my God, so good. You guys are gonna love this. I really hope you give this recipe a try. Thank you so much once again for joining me, spending your time. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.